Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So, in this video, I will be continuing uh, the solutions of uh, model question paper one for the question number two uh, A, uh, two B, two C. So, I am taking uh, these questions two A, two B, and two uh, C. I will be solving uh, in this session these three questions. So, those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel immediately. Now, moving on to the solution. Consider uh, the question number two a. So test the validity of the given argument using a uh, rule of inference. By using rule of inference, uh, they have given the arguments. We need to verify that uh, this argument is valid or not. So consider uh, the argument and using uh, the definition of inference. Just we go with uh, uh, conjunction. We connect all the uh, compound proposition by using. Uh, Conjunction here, a cap. So I have taken that. Then I need to finally prove that it is logically equivalent to the final uh, answer is P. So for that reason, I will go with uh, considering uh, the uh, left hand side. So I have considered the left hand side part here. So now I will apply uh, rule of uh, syllogism first. First, I will go with always uh, applying rule of uh, syllogism. You should know what is rule of uh, syllogism. The rule of syllogism says that if P implies Q and Q implies R, finally I can write down that as P implies R. So if you have P implies Q uh, conjunction Q implies R, then I can write down P implies R. Similarly, I can find out here, here negation P disjunction Q implies R conjunction R implies S disjunction T. So here R is common we have so apply rule of syllogism I applied that and I got back with the negation P disjunction Q implies a uh, uh, S disjunction T conjunction similarly first I will apply conditional law, law of condition for this so for this I have applied law of condition that is negation S yes, conjunction negation U can be written as S yes, implies negation U how it is possible means since we know that p implies q is logically equivalent to according to law of condition we can write this as negation negation p conjunction q so as we know that uh, it is logically equivalent so as we have negation p conjunction q here we have negation p conjunction q so in place of q we have negation u i have retained as it is I have retained as it is so negation of negation yes becomes yes here to so, conjunction the retained uh, the last term as it is next by observing these two terms by observing these two co compound proposition again we can go with rule of syllogism so for that reason we have got yes implies negation t again i will apply law rule of condition for this yes implies an, uh, a negation t can be written as negation yes uh, conjunction negation t so then i can rewrite this by using de morgan's law negation of uh, yes disjunction t so as we have negation yes conjunction negation t i can apply de morgan's law that as negation of yes disjunction t so from this i can observe i will apply modus tollens so what that uh, modus tollens uh, rule says that you should know that so it is uh, the rule says that p implies q negation q finally it will be an negation p modus tollens rule so by using modus tollens rule i have applied that you can consider this total uh, proposition as uh, p and this proposition as q so here negation q so i got p implies q conjunction negation q will be an what negation of negation p negation of negation p disjunction q so applying again de morgan's law for this negation of negation p uh, disjunction becomes conjunction negation q negation of negation p is what p so conjunction negation q by using conjunctive simplification finally i can write down this as p that is what i require to prove so therefore i can say that the given statement is valid argument the given statement is valid argument so moving on to the question number uh, 2b find whether the following argument uh, 
or valid or not which uh, which the universe is the set of all triangles what is the universal set here you know, set of all triangles in triangle in triangle xyz that is common here in that set of all triangle in triangle xyz there is no pair of angles or equal measure this is one statement i can say if the triangle has two sides or equal length then it is isosceles then it has then it has two angles of equal measure therefore triangle xyz has no two two sides of equal length now using this argument we will construct an uh, uh, argument uh, way so we can uh, write down a proposition as uh, proposition as uh, p of x i will define proposition uh, p of x as x has uh, x has of angles uh, two uh, sorry x has of angles equal measure that is what first statement next uh, q q of x can be defined as x has two sides of equal length x has two sides of equal length r of x i am defining x is isosceles this is common for, for all the problem first you need to define what is p what is q what is x so what is r so i have defined that uh, all those part then by using uh, quantifiers uh, we can uh, also have defined what is a here in general a is what triangle xyz that is what in common we are discussing in common triangle xyz therefore uh, the given statement can be written in the form of arguments as follows therefore for all negation p of a see the in the first statement in the first statement you can see here there is no pair of angles no in triangle xyz there is no pair of angles of equal measure no no means what negation so for that reason i have defined negation p of a negation p of a similarly if you go with the next statement if if then we have if then if then if is what here if the triangle has two sides of equal length that is q of x then it has i then it is isosceles that is r of x that is why i have defined q of x implies r of x finally the last statement is r of x implies p of x finally the conclusion will be what we are going to get back with negation of q of a negation of q of a means triangle xyz uh, has no two sides of equal length we are going to prove so as i defined in the previous problem so in that manner i will take uh, all the uh, uh, proposition into using conjunction i have used uh, conjunctions then i will apply rule of first i will see can i apply rule of syllogism first yes definitely from these two propositions compound proposition i can apply rule of syllogism i have applied rule of syllogism then i got q of x implies p of x so i have left out with negation p of a conjunction q of x implies p of x then by generalizing the problem and applying commutative law so i can replace x by a so that is what i have done in all the problem on in all the cases so therefore i got q of a implies p of a conjunction negation p of a by using modus tollens in the previous problem i explained a modus tollens so i can write that as negation q of a hence i have proved that the given statement is a valid argument moving on to the last part question number 2c if p of x is uh, defined as x greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 q of x is defined as x square is greater than or equal to 0 r of x is defined as x square minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0 by solving this expression what you are going to get x equal to so we are going to get uh, 4 and uh, minus 1 here you should know that x will be satisfied only for 4 and minus 1 in this uh, for r of x x of x is what here x of x is uh, satisfied for for all x square x square greater than or equal to 3 3 so it will be and uh, for the only these values it will be satisfied determine the truth or uh, falsity of the given following statements 
So consider the first statement here. There exists x p of x conjunction q of x. You know what is p of x here? x is positive. Q of x is also squares of the values are positive. So for that reason, I, if I consider uh, there exist, there exist means at least one value should satisfy. In, in that case, I will consider only x equal to 1. So which satisfies both p of x and q of x. From the given definition, both p of x and q of x. When I consider x equal to 1, p of x is positive. When I consider x equal to 1, 1 square is also positive. Therefore, q of x and p of x are true. Therefore, I can say that true conjunction true is always true. Therefore, I can say that the given truth value, uh, the given for the given proposition, the truth value is true. Similarly, going with next problem, for all p of x implies q of x. So, p of x is positive for all values. Q of x is uh, uh, squares of all the values are positive they have given. So, for that reason, I will consider for all x greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0, implies what? x square. That implies what? If I square on both this side, x square is greater than or equal to 0. So, therefore, I can say that p of x is also true and q of x is also true. So, therefore, I can say that the given truth, uh, given proposition is having the truth value true or 1. Instead of saying true, uh, we can also say it is 1. So, moving on to for third one, for all x, q of x implies s of x. So, here we observe that uh, for x equal to 1, uh, q of x satisfies. For x equal to 1, 1 square is positive. So, it satisfies for Q of x. When I consider S of x, S of x is what? Go through the definition. S of x is uh, x square minus 3 greater than 0, which will not satisfy for the consider uh, for the whatever the consideration x equal to 1, which does not satisfy S of x. So, we can say that S of x is false. So, true implies false is always what? False. So, therefore, I can say that the given for all as they have given for all so for it should satisfy for all the values but here uh, for one value called x equal to 1 it is not satisfying so therefore i therefore i can say that the given truth uh, the given proposition have the truth value false going on to next uh, for all x r of x disjunction s of x so we note that here x is equal to 1 I will consider x equal to 1. So, as I have taken x equal to 1, so I have I already explained you uh, for what values r of x is satisfied. A r of x is satisfied only for two values that is uh, 4 and minus 1. As I have considered r equal to x equal to 1 here, so definitely x is uh, r of x is false. s of x is also false. So, false disjunction false is always what? False itself. According to the definition of uh, uh, disjunction, False, uh, disjunction, false is always false. Therefore, the given uh, proposition have the truth value false. So, moving on to the uh, fifth one. There exists P of X conjunction Q of X. So, we note that we can uh, we can consider any value, X value. So, it will be a positive. That's why we have uh, considered that as true statement. Sorry, make the changes here. Uh, this problem is uh, uh, P of X uh, conjunction R of X. So, we note that uh, P of X is true and R of X is true when X equal to 4 as I have defined for R of X is uh, uh, true for X equal to 4. So, therefore, as X is uh, positive, that's why P of X is uh, uh, true here. Hence, uh, true conjunction true is always what? True. Therefore, the given, truth, uh, to, uh, the given uh, proposition is having the truth value true. Moving on to the sixth question. For all x, r of x implies uh, p of x. For what values of r of x is true? For x equal to 4 and minus 1. So, I will consider x equal to minus 1. So, then I, uh, r of x is true, but p of x is not satisfying since x is positive. x should be positive. Therefore, x, uh, p of x is false. So, true implies false is always, is always what? False. So, therefore, I can say that this uh, tr uh, truth value contains false. So, finally, if you go with last problem, there exists x, r of x, conjunction, negation of x. The same problem uh, in the previous uh, problem I have solved. 
instead of uh, p of x here we have negation p of x so therefore it will be what instead of false statement it will be a true statement therefore true implies true will be what here is always true therefore we can conclude that the given proposition is having the truth value true this is how to solve the problems of question number 2 i think you all understood how to solve these problems of uh, mathematical logic logic for question number 1 you can refer my previous video and uh, try to be update uh, for uh, upcoming videos so for that reason you need to I request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and do share this videos with your friends it may be helpful for someone else so i thank you all for watching this video thank you all